back at it again, talking about credit and cash again. Because <laughs> a lot of people feel that credit is better than cash. I'm still trying to figure out how. They both have benefits, I get it. But a lot of people who like, who think credit is better, actually thinks- In a quarter mile, turn left. Cash is not good. They actually think cash is not good and credit is good. Because what they have done is they have fell for the illusion that, okay, if I get something on credit, it frees up money for something else, right? That's what most people think, right? But at the end of the day, even if you get credit for something and your other cash is freed up, right? At the end of the day, guess what? You still have to pay that back unless you get credit on something else to pay for that. But you still got to pay that. You're not getting away with paying the credit. There's no way around this. I don't know why people think they find an array, a, a way around this shit, man. Credit is credit. It's a loan. So, in other terms, I go to a weed man, I borrow all 20. Now I go to another weed man to borrow this money to pay back. Come on, man. It's still I still owe that other weed man. No way around it. I don't know why y'all don't get this. And you're paying more when you get credit. If you get credit is for things like if you don't have the cash. If you had the cash, why would you get credit? Some might say, well, so I can have that cash free, right? Yeah, if you're gonna do something with the free cash you got. Turn left, then turn left onto the I-270 South ramp. I get it, but guess what? You still have to pay back that credit. Just cause you have free cash, doesn't mean you Turn left onto the I-270 South ramp. That don't mean you don't owe that credit. So in a, a quarter mile, merge onto I-270 South. So if a guy goes to buy a $70,000 car, right? But he saves his $20,000, right? Say he has $30,000, he puts down $10,000 on a $70,000 car. He still owes that $60,000, dog. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. You're not getting around that. That's the deception of credit, man. Why do you think the people who rule the world and have all the cash... Got credit, loan credit. Ain't that ain't that funny? Why don't they loan cash if cash ain't shit? There's a reason why they're loaning credit. You think they loaning you credit for no reason? Nah, they want cash. They want some of your cash by loaning you some credit for cash or cash credit. You can say what you want, but the elite loan you credit for cash credit back. I'm gonna say that again for people who don't get it, who say cash is nothing, it's all about credit. Okay, the elite loan you credit, let's say it slow, the elite loan you credit so they can get cash back for you getting credit. But I thought cash didn't matter. So why don't the elite loan you cash to get credit then? Shouldn't they want credit back since that's the most important thing? It's not. They put credit here to put you in debt. They put houses here to put you in debt. Only if you know you're, what you're doing, yeah, you can prosper from it. But if you don't, it's a trap. Just like credit, if you get credit and you do the right thing with it, you find a way to make money off of it, yeah, good, good for you. But I'm talking about people who think that they are gonna go buy something, right? On credit and somehow it's different than them paying cash, it's the same. If I buy a $70,000 car, it's the same. I mean, yeah, it's the same. Well, actually, it's better if I buy it versus getting it on credit. The only way it's not better getting it on credit is if I plan on taking the other $40,000, $50,000 and do something else with it because it's free. It's not tied up in that car. But guess what? Money is still tied up in that car because you still owe on that car. That credit ain't going nowhere. You're not getting around it, man. No matter how you try, oh, I'll just go get other things to pay for it. And now you owe more credit. I 
feel like if you can afford something, buy it. Why would you get it on credit? It makes no sense. Unless you don't want to put all the money down, but you still owe on it. And that's my argument. It's okay, I get it, if you don't want to put all the money down. But my argument is people act like if they don't put all the money down, that, that the money that they didn't put down is somehow still their money or whatever. Or let me say it like this. They act like the money they didn't put down, they don't owe. Like somehow it's just going to magically disappear. No, you still owe it and you owe actually more. So if I go to a weed man, buy an ounce. He says an ounce is uh, $150, right? I'm just giving y'all an example of something since y'all y'all like to, uh, y'all don't get it sometimes. No, let's just say this. If I go buy a car and they say it's $10,000, right? But I give them $5,000. Now that car is fucking, now I got to go to the bank, get a loan, all this shit, right? Now that car is $15,000. you are trying to tell me, all the people who, who scream this cash ain't shit shit, you're trying to tell me it's better off for me to buy that car for $5,000 or uh, 15,000 than 10. For one, you shouldn't even be buying a car if you don't have that type of money extra. Like say, $15,000 car. If I buy a $15,000 car, I'm still, uh, I'm still six figures, right? That's why you don't see people living beyond their means. They trying to live beyond their means, buy something, and, and try to keep the money on the side and then they still owe all this debt and they wonder why they in debt. How is something better to pay for, how is it better to pay more for something? I don't give a fuck about no credit score. You shouldn't either, you should really be trying to get your money up. I know credit's important, but honestly it's just there for, I guess to be there, I don't know. In two miles, use the second from the right lane to take exit 39 for Ohio 16 East, Broad Street. But if you gave me an option of a, a trillion dollars in credit or a trillion dollars in cash, I'm taking cash. I don't need to. Pay, I don't need the credit. What do I need the credit for? If I got a trillion dollars in cash, why do I need credit? Someone please explain this shit. You know what's going. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be the motherfucker loaning out the credit, so y'all can give me more cash, just like the elite do, y'all, who deceive y'all and make y'all believe that credit is better than cash. That's bullshit. It's not. How is it better? Unless your situation is you can't come up with $20,000 to start a business. Oh, then credit, yeah, it's solid. But guess what? You still owe that money. You still owe that money, though. And you're going to pay more versus a guy who has the $20,000. So we both about to start the same business. You have $20,000 in credit. I have $20,000 in cash. I put down the business, $20,000. I'm done. You are about to owe $30,000. And now you gotta make payments. I don't. All I gotta do is work on my business, and eventually that twenty thousand will even out, and then I make profit. You gotta catch up and then make profit, and you gotta pay more. How's that better, people? Someone explain to me, because because I, I keep hearing this little. In half a mile, use the second from the right lane to take exit thirty nine for Ohio sixteen East Broad Street. I keep hearing this, put this a little bit down, put that little bit down. And I think I know why people say it, right? Well, you could put $20,000 down to get a, a $300,000 $300, house instead of putting $300,000 down, right? That's what they say, right? Use the second from the right lane to take exit 39, then keep left at the fork. So in their mind, they thinking that they getting that house for $20,000, but you're not. You're actually paying more for it, man. You still owe the money. Keep left at the fork. And since you don't have cash, you can say, well, I'll just use other things to pay for it. Yeah, you're going to use more credit to pay for it, right? In a quarter mile, merge onto Ohio 16 East East Broad Street. Or, or if you don't use credit to pay for it, you still pay for it with your cash. You still paying cash. At the end of the day, you still paying cash. Hey, that's a, that's a good ass point. So people who say, I'm going to put down 20000 on, on, on a car or something and then I'm going to pay the rest in credit guess what dog you still paying cash after the, after you make that loan you still owe payments right 
which is cash, right? You're not gonna make payments with credit, are you? I don't think so. So guess what? You still paying cash. You still paying cash. Three hundred thousand dollar house. You still gotta pay for that. Only thing I see credit good for is the startup ways to make more money. But if you already got the money cash, it's better that way. I already explained this. I already explained it with the guy starting a twenty thousand dollar twenty thousand dollar business. He starts one, I start one. I got cash, he got credit. He got to catch up, and he got to pay more to start his now. I don't. I can start buying other shit for the business. He's already paid the twenty thousand cash. How is it better for him to get twenty thousand credit? Please explain to me. I'm waiting for somebody to make it make sense. Yeah, in the long run, you paying everything. You're paying cash in the long run. It's like they think that this credit gives them a, a, a scapegoat to not pay. I don't get it. You still pay it. I'm not saying credit's not important because everybody's situation is different. You might not have 20,000 cash to start up a business. But if you did, how is it better to use that? How is it better to use 20,000 cash than to use your, uh, or, you know, how is it better to use a credit than the cash? Unless you just don't want to put all that down, right? Now, this is the argument people are going to make. Well, I don't want to put all that money down. I want money free, right? Well, if you're going to put money in other things to make money, I guess I get it. But guess what? That $20,000 business that you uh, got a loan for becomes $30,000 now. Now you're hustling backwards. Now that $10,000 that you claim that you're getting away with, you know, you, you could have used that on another business. So either way, either way, y'all listen, listen carefully, because they say don't put down all your money so you can open another business, right? Well, they still paying that extra that extra interest on their credit, man. No matter how good their credit is, you paying interest, right? So that interest that by if you would have just paid the cash for the business, now you got that uh, you saved ten thousand because you didn't get the interest charged to you. You can use that to uh, start another business. I don't know why people think this uh, credit shit is better than cash. It's not, not in my opinion, because I'm no damn fool. I know the elite are loaning you credit so they can get more cash. So by default, this is common sense. If the elite are loaning me credit to get cash, obviously cash got to be more important, or it will be the other way around. They be loaning me fucking cash to get credit. I'm telling y'all, man, don't fall for this trap, man. Cash is still important, man. It is, how is it not hustling backwards? You're paying more. I feel like the best way, man, is to make sure you have money for something. I see dudes all the time, nice $70,000 cars. I can buy that car cash and I still ain't done it yet. So what is their excuse for this? Now you're in debt because you believe somebody who told you, oh yeah, get a car on credit. Now, if you had to, man, you got a family, you got no choice. Everybody's situation is different. Sometimes you have no choice. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about people who had a choice who could have kept stacking their money, but decided to be dumb and go get the credit, right? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Rose Hill Road. I'm not paying more money for something that I, that I could afford. It just doesn't make sense to me. Now, let's say I buy a house, right? And I don't want to pay- Turn right onto Rose Hill Road, then turn left and I can't pay it all cash, or I don't want to pay it all cash. Either way, if I choose to do this, understand that I'm still paying more money for the house. Understand I'm still paying cash. Take the next left, then turn left. I'm still paying cash for the house because I got to pay on the loan. When you pay on the loan, you're paying cash. So I don't understand how people assume that getting a loan. Take the next left, then your destination will be on the left. Assume that getting a loan exempts them from paying cash. Nah, you still paying cash, bro. I'm, hey, I don't want people to think I'm not the credit, man, because I understand. Your destination is on the left. I don't use credit. Only only way I use, I use a credit card to try to, uh, because I get cash back. So instead of using cash, I use my credit card. But guess what? At, at the end of every month, guess what happens? 
everything I owe on that credit card gets taken out automatically and there's no interest. So I'm getting money back for using credit, but there's no interest, that's the key. Y'all gotta understand, interest matters. Interest is cash. Loans are cash, you still owe. I don't know what else to say to y'all, man. You know what I mean? Some things, I get it, it's too much for you to pay cash. I get it, but if you could wait, or maybe you should find a way to get um, passive income before you purchase these things. Before you purchase a Rolls Royce or a three hundred thousand dollar house, why not wait to where you got it? To where you got businesses where it you could pay for cash? Why would you get it on credit? It makes no sense. You can say what you want about well, I don't want my money tied up. You still tie money. Your money is still tied up in the house. It don't matter if you physically gave them cash money in a bag or you got it on loan. Your money is still tied up in that house and you still owe on that house. And guess what you owe? You don't owe credit, you owe cash. Your money's still tied up in that shit, dog. So either way, that's why I say it's best to pay cash for shit, man. Be done with it and move the fuck on with life. And if you can't afford it cash, Jay-Z say seven times, I say once, he's right, it should be seven. But I say if you can't afford that shit twice, don't even buy it, you can't afford it. So if I can afford, I can afford a $70,000 car because I can buy that twice and still not be suffering. But some of y'all, you can't. You got it on credit. Why'd you do that? You know better, man. How you gonna get to where I am where you can actually buy a cash if you buy you getting credit off of every fucking thing? You'll never have that much money because you'll always be in debt owing oh, shit. I'm telling y'all, they lie to y'all, man, about this credit shit. It's deception. You gotta ask yourself, if the elite claim that credit is so much better than cash, then why do they want your cash for their credit? Come on, man, think.